Hi, this is Paige Peltier. I'm doing this video for the CHPM 2605. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and first show you the binders that I have made for this cloth. Uh, the first one is um, my office binder. This includes uh, the pre-visit, um, also the first visit. I have a couple of pages in here um, for that, like the confidentiality and um, case history and stuff. Um, the healthcare class in which I have a bunch of different things to hand out, such as these fun, colorful uh, papers for receival subluxation and nerve chart, just to show people um, what exactly um, you know the spine contains uh, in the spinal cord. And then uh, how chiropractic works. Um, just a short little um, pamphlet for them. It's just a one-page pamphlet just to tell them exactly how it works and um, it even has like the systems and what um, each nerve goes to which I thought was really nicely laid out um, and then also um, in this binder I have the report of findings um, I have this nice little thing uh, for them to fill out for, for me to fill out I'm oh, sorry and then um, then the progressive exam. And so, yeah, that's my first binder. Um, my second binder is full of some um, awesome research that I found on chiropractic care. And um, the first one being uh, the vertebral subluxation. I uh, found a couple articles about that. Um, next is the wellness development care. found a few articles on that. Um, and then, sorry, let's see. Okay. And then subluxation uh, condition-based care. I found a couple examples on that, which was great. Um, chiropractic spinal. Found some of those. Functional neurology in chiropractic. Some great articles on that too. Uh, current mechanic systems. And then lastly, or not lastly, <laughs> bad medicine. New vitalistic systems. And uh, miscellaneous research. So I put a couple articles that didn't really pertain to anything um, that was uh, due to like any of these, but some different ones that I thought were interesting and could help me uh, better, you know, my practice uh, since I um, have been learning up on some BGI techniques. I put those on the back um, in the miscellaneous section. So yeah. Hello, this is Peltier Chiropractic. This is Dr. Page. How can I help you? Oh, hello, Shelby. So happy to hear you are seeking chiropractic care. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so does Monday or Tuesday work for you? Okay, Tuesday. Great, great. Would you like to come in in the morning or in the afternoon? Okay, mornings work best for you. Wonderful. Okay, so seven. I have a time slot for new patients, uh, either at seven thirty or at eight thirty a.m. Which one would be best? Eight thirty will be perfect. Awesome. Wonderful. Could you please provide uh, me your full name? Wonderful. And Shelby Lozan. Wonderful. And is this a good number to reach you at? Okay. Great. Great. What is uh? I'm going to have to uh, put in some records, so could I please have your address? Awesome. And then when you come in, um, if you do have insurance, go ahead and bring in your insurance card. And so, do you have insurance? Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. So, what is your insurance provider? 
Okay, MediShare, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we'll go ahead and call them and make sure that um, they give you that full coverage that uh, you should be provided. So, uh, so when you come in, just go ahead and bring in your insurance card so we can have a copy of that. And then uh, we'll call you ahead of time to make sure uh, that they do cover uh, all those benefits for you. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Okay, so we'll discuss that when you come in and make sure that um, when you come in, we will have all that prepared for you. And our address is 1011 Spring Road. And you can go ahead and park right in front and we'll greet you at the door. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hello. Welcome to the office. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Why, why are you coming in today? Well, I was trying to change a light bulb the other day, and I had to get up on a ladder, and I lost my balance and I fell on, on my shoulder on the ground. So it's just been giving me a lot of pain. Okay, is it your left or right shoulder? My right. Your right shoulder. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and have... I've seen a lot of people with these issues. So um, let's go ahead and sit down and we can go over a care plan with you. Uh, first, you'll need to fill out this case history, which I have for you. Okay. Um, and then second, you'll... Uh, we'll perform a physical exam and a chiropractic exam on you. Um, the third thing that we are going to do is give you a plan and we'll proceed with uh, with taking some x-rays. Is that okay? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, we'll compile all of these findings and create a care plan for you. Um, we'll lastly go over the uh, layout of the office procedures. Sounds good. Awesome. Awesome. So go ahead and... We're going to have you fill out all of these. Uh, this is just um, the case history, um, terms of acceptance, and a confidentiality uh, paper that you'll just have to fill out for me. Is that okay? Yep. Awesome. Welcome back, Shelby. Hi. This is the second visit. So what we're going to be doing today is just showing you a short video on the office procedures. Uh, we will then have a review of findings and an x-ray consult since we did take your x-rays last time you were here. Um, lastly, we will go over some of the recommendations of your care that I have uh, put, compiled together and what to expect to begin under my care. Would you like to begin chiropractic care? Yes, I'd like to begin chiropractic care. Awesome. Based on what I have found, it looks like you'll be a great candidate for chiropractic care. I would like to accept you as a patient and would like uh, to help with help you. Great, thank you so much. Awesome. Hi. So there are a few things to expect when coming into my office. I want the people to come into my office feeling warm, feeling welcomed, and that they're under the best care possible. Um, growing up in a chiropractic family, I've seen that from my dad, from my sister, who's now a chiropractor, um, just provide that and to, you know, every patient that comes in, they come in, my dad, he comes in with a smile on his face and happy to see him, happy to see them. So that's what I want to provide. And so when people come in as a new patient, I want them to feel warm, welcomed, and that I, myself, can provide that care for them, the care that they have been searching for and needing. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of where, you know, I want them to expect that when they see health care chiropractic or whatever my name might be in the future, that they, my office name might be in the future, um, that they will see that that chiropractor is someone I trust and someone I need to go to to take care of my needs. So, yeah, that's, that's what you should expect at my office. Providing that education to the patient is crucial to their care. They need to know exactly what's going on. 
and being upfront with them and honest about that is very, very important right up front. So when a patient comes in, a new patient comes in, I sit down with them, give them that care plan and give them, you know, what they're expecting, what the financial circumstances are and what we can do to help them. And if they want to continue with that care, I would be happy, happy to help them. So when a patient comes into the office, um, not knowing exactly what chiropractic care is about and just seeing that, you know, we help with back pain or whatnot, that will eventually come. That will eventually, you know, so sink into their system and realize that this is just not about back pain or, you know, my shoulder hurts or whatnot. That is just a step into the office. Once you get into the office, once you get into my office, they will see that this is so much more, that the nervous system works with every system in the body and that they feel connected with their own system. And so, you know, when something, you know, is bothering them or something in their life is emotional or chemical or any of the sub kinds of subluxations that they can get, they start realizing these things and start coming into the office more and more, referring people in saying, you know, this is what's helped me in chiropractic care and whatnot. So I feel like in my office, I will definitely set out a time to have that uh, educational um, part and have them come into the office after the first visit and sit down with them and have that educational time to talk about what a subluxation is, just the basics. Lastly, I wanted to uh, thank you uh, Dr. Reekman for providing this class for us. I feel like it's a very important class uh, in order to learn the marketing, education, educating the new patients, just like getting them in and seeing that. And, you know, I really enjoyed learning from you, enjoyed your videos that you've provided for us, and I really wanted to just take the time to thank you for, you know, providing such a wonderful class and for the future classes that we're going to be taking that are just a step into what exactly what we're going to be doing in our office not just like the techniques but how we communicate to the patient so thank you